Hi, Tom here and welcome to this week's Circle Line Art School video. In this video, I'll show you one way to draw a city and an ocean liner in one point perspective. The first step is to draw a horizontal line towards the base of your page. Next, draw a vanishing point on the right and all parallel lines that go towards the vanishing point will look like they actually meet at this point. Now draw a diagonal line for the tops of the tall buildings the right hand side of all of the tall buildings. Next we can draw another diagonal line just below the horizontal line that we drew at the beginning and this is for the base of all the buildings, the base of the right hand side of all of the buildings in this drawing in one point perspective. Now we can draw a series of vertical lines for the edges of the tall buildings. We can use our two diagonal lines for the top and the base of all of the right hand sides of each of the buildings. But for the left hand sides of the buildings, because this drawing is in one point perspective, we're only getting perspective on the right hand side of the buildings. So on the left hand side, they'll just be rectangles with right angles. So tall thin rectangles, but still rectangles. So in this one point perspective drawing, we are only getting the foreshortening, the perspective, on the right hand side of things, because we put our vanishing point on the right. So the top and the base of each of the buildings is a straight line, which is parallel to the horizontal line. As we continue to draw, we can erase some of the guidelines that we no longer need. By drawing more diagonal lines going to our vanishing point on the right, we can find the angle for different heights of buildings. Once you have a good selection of buildings at different heights and some buildings sort of tucked behind other buildings just to make them look interesting, next we could add some tonal values to our drawing, some shading. For this drawing I'm using a 4B pencil. I think I'll add a graded tone starting at the base of each of the buildings but only really putting a tone on on the left hand side, on the rectangle side of the buildings, not on the perspective side. And I think I'll do it from dark to light. So starting with the 4B pencil as dark as it can at the base and then gradually grading it to a lighter tone. Next we can draw an ocean liner for these buildings are next to some water. The top line of the deck, because the ocean liner will be parallel to the sides of the buildings going to the vanishing point on the right, the top line of the deck will also go to the same vanishing point on the right. And we need a line for the front of the liner as well and also a line for the back. And we can erase all of the lines within the liner that we no longer need. Next we could add some more details to this ocean liner. Another deck going to our vanishing point on the right. But 
but for the front of the ocean liner again that's just going to be a rectangle with right angles to it We could draw a few tiny tugboats, small boats in relation to the great size of the ocean liner. So these boats are very small, the ocean liner is very big, and then the buildings, which are slightly behind the ocean liner, are even bigger. But for these little tugboats, they just need to be a simple sketch. We don't need any details in them, I don't think. Along the side of the ocean liner, we can draw some portholes, just some tiny dots, which get even smaller as they go in straight lines towards the vanishing point. We could add three funnels to the top of the ocean liner and continue to add some more details and some more tone.
much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, for a new art tutorial every Saturday. And please visit my website, circlelineartschool.com, to learn more. Thank you for watching and see you next time.